growing up plus size. I freaking hate that word. I really do. I really hate that word. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is your girl, Sassy Dassy. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about me growing up plus size or whatever society said I was because I wasn't a size two. Now, before we get into this video, if you haven't already did so, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on your post notifications so you can get alerted whenever I drop another video plus size whoever came up with that word where did that word really originated from because i'm pretty sure i didn't hate it from the first time i ever heard it it's then just through time and how social media and and society in this world has put that word it has made it such a horrible word for somebody that is not a size too it is i always never felt like i was growing up plus size I was just growing up. I was really just growing up. I was growing up just living my life, being who I was, being sassy dassy and just loving my life. And I never have had a problem with my weight. It was always society had a problem with my weight because they never, they felt that I was too big to be doing this or I was too big to be doing that or I was too big to be wearing this or wearing that color or doing this or whatever because they wanted to keep I was, I was not like everybody else. And I thrive on that. I love being different. I love being different. Um, that's one thing that I feel like is one of the best characteristics about myself is that I do not go with the beat of somebody else's drum. I can be by myself and be completely happy with that. It's just crazy how this world has twisted, you know, the whole body image. And the whole perception of what is acceptable and what's not acceptable. That's how it that plus size has, you know, became. If you're not a size two, you're plus size. If you don't look like that model on the catwalk, you're plus size. If you don't look like this model in this magazine, you're plus size. No, honey. No. You're Melissa. You're Tiffany, you're sassy dassy. You just who you are. You you be beautiful in your own skin. You be beautiful and love the skin that you're in. I just hate that social media, um, you know, in the in the public eye, you know, has made plus size be the word or be have that feeling like it does. I I do. I do. I hate it because nobody in my family, none of the women in my family, are, we're not size twos. We all have breasts, we all have butts, and we all have thighs, and we're what you will consider stacked. We are what some people say, you, you're thicker than a snicker. Yes, ma'am, I am. Okay? And that's perfectly fine with me. I have no complaints. My husband loves it. Okay? But it's just crazy that that perception makes people that are not a size two feel some kind of way whenever they get out in the public or even whenever they're in a restaurant or going to movies or something. It's like if you're if you're not a size two, you better not get that extra large popcorn because somebody's gonna have something to say about it. You better not do that. It just it just irks me so bad. It really irks me. It, it, it pisses me off, to be honest with you. It really does. Because I hate how it has really just kind of tainted this this world that you have people that are not a size to feel that they can't do what they truly have deep in their heart to do because they're so afraid that they're already in the negative because of their size. I hate that. I hate that. But I am going to tell you guys about one time a situation whenever I was in high school. Now, this person was a faculty member at my high school, and he used to always have problems with my outfits. Now, mind you, I, not a goody two shoes, but I knew how to follow the rules. And 
I have got called in the office many a times because he said something about my dress code. So one day, me and my best friend, who is not a size two, but she ain't she ain't my size, but she ain't a size two. If she had an outfit on and I had the same outfit on, it would clearly look different. And that's what we wanted to happen. So we matched down to our how our hair was the same that we wore the same jewelry we were the same outfit we had the same shoes and everything we were like twins that day and he seen me and immediately called me into his office and i already knew what was going on because i already told my friend that this is what was gonna happen he immediately called me into the office and he was like well you're gonna need to call your mom because your dress you know your outfit is not meeting dress code violations and i'm like lies it is. And I was like, hmm, okay, so I'm going to need to go home. Did you tell my friend, my best friend, that she's going to need to go home too? Do I, did my mama need to take her home too? Because you need to talk to her too. He was like, why would I talk? Real pompous, real arrogant. It was like, ugh, cannot stand this man. Why would I, why would I talk to her? You know, she hasn't did anything wrong. I said, huh. Now, it's funny that I have did something wrong with my outfit, but she has the exact same outfit on, sir, and she hasn't did anything wrong. So, he proceeded, no, she doesn't have the same outfit on. I would have called her outfit. I would have seen that she was violating dress code violations and blah, blah, blah. So, he proceeded to call her into the office and seen that me and her had everything down to the, I mean, everything down to our hairstyle and everything. So this long story short, he was not there that much longer. That probably happened on a Monday or Tuesday. His last day was that Friday because I was not standing for that. And the type of mama I have about her children, hello, and me being a baby too, mm, she wasn't standing for that either. But it was just crazy because it wasn't the problem that I, it, he wasn't the problem with what I had on. He was looking at me in a way that he felt that my outfit looked different than it did on my friend which it did but you were looking at me in a way that you shouldn't have been looking at me in the first place so uh deuces okay but <laughs> i just hate that that situation could have broke me but by me dealing with this my whole life it didn't it, it just empowered me to kind of just stay and live in my truth and just know that this is probably going to be something that i'm going to be dealing with for the rest of my life and it's okay it's okay. I don't have a problem with it. But I just really hate that, you know, young society that may not have a strong person to look up to can be affected. So that's why I just pride and I just, I just love whenever there's, you know, singers or actresses or models or whatever that are out there in the public eye that can really just kind of just put it into this plus size word and that you know there is some beautiful <sighs> there is some beautiful 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 big bone women out there that can really be making a name for themselves but it's negative people in the industry that's just putting a whole stop to that because they just don't like their size they feel like they shouldn't be shouldn't be doing what they're doing and it's not even a point uh it's not even the point of shouldn't be doing what they're doing it's the fact that i think it's a little bit of not understanding how you know how they're doing what they're doing and everything because it's so crazy like if if somebody even asks me my weight i hear it all the time like girl you look good for your weight girl you hold your weight good and with that with me it's because i'm proportioned you know i feel like everything is kind of i'm sorry you guys i feel like everything is kind of where it needs to be you know with me but there's some people that are plus size that don't have that you know i have heard the word they're top heavy they look like spongebob square pants they big up top nothing at bottom and everything but you know people can be real cruel i i understand that people can be real cruel and people can just be ignorant also you know just because that whole plus size word it pisses me off i hate it I hate it. So do something for me, you guys. If you're watching this video, comment below 
if you feel that that plus size should be just like deleted from words of history of the dictionary or wherever it originated from because i feel like curvaceous mm, i feel like curvy yes i feel like some of these words would be such more of a positive thing and then plus size plus size doesn't even sound good at all i feel like yes i will use plus if it's uh yes i'm more than what you think i i am I can do more than what you think I can do. I am more than the woman that you can ever even handle. Yes, so I will use plus size in that manner. But how it's then been brought up into society is just a horrible, horrible, horrible thing. So if you don't take anything else from this video, please take this. If you are not a size two, it is okay. You are beautiful. You are enough. If you don't hear it from nobody else, you're hearing it from me today. You are beautiful. You are enough. Please do not change yourself to try to fit in with society. Society is big enough for everybody. And sometimes it's okay to stand out in the crowd. It's okay. I've been doing it my whole 34 years that I have been on this earth. I have always been what people consider different, you know? I kind of do my own thing and I love that about me because I don't have to actually conform or I don't have to worry about trying to fit in or worry about what they're saying because I'm doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to have people that's going to hate and you're going to have people that's going to, you know, try to put you down because they're intimidated by you. You know what I'm saying? So if, like I said, if you don't take anything else from this video, please take that. Just be you. Just be beautifully you. And if you are plus size, forget that word. If you are bigger than a size, to freaking own it with everything in your being. I hope you guys have loved this video. And I wasn't trying to make it a rant or anything. And I wasn't trying to make it where I'm putting down the size twos out there. I'm just strictly talking about my personal experience and everything. So let's let's not make this be like, oh my gosh, she's putting down size two. No, I love, I think everybody is beautiful. If you're confident in yourself and if you believe in yourself, you're beautiful to me. Don't let society dictate how beautiful you really are. Um, but make sure you guys, you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Again, I post every single week and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have a awesome rest of your week and i will see you guys next time bye